feud between former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is starting to force people to take sides. Now, this has been going on for quite some time. Donald Trump has always, for some reason, seen Ron DeSantis as a bit of a threat, even though he massively outpolls Ron DeSantis. Uh, so, nonetheless, the fight was renewed during a Saturday rally in Pennsylvania when Donald Trump decided to uh, bring up the polling and call Ron DeSantis something stupid. We're winning, we're winning big, big, big in the Republican Party for the nomination like nobody's ever seen before. Let's see, there it is, Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10%. Mike Pence at seven. Oh, Mike's doing better than I thought. Liz Cheney, there's no way she's at 4%. There's no way. There's no way. But we're at 71 to 10 to 7 to 4. Ted Cruz is doing a good job, by the way. He didn't like me for a while, but we got to be friends, right? Hmm. Ah, yes. Uh, you know, yeah, we got to we got to be friends. Trump called your wife we don't want you do big, Great friends, great friends. <laughs> okay, uh, but look, Ron De Sanctimonious. Really? I, I mean, look. Even I can say Donald Trump is pretty entertaining. I hate the guy. But entertaining, yes. That was not your best work, sir. <laughs> I know words. I had the best words. No, not in this case. Not in this case at all. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Look, uh, Ben Shapiro, by the way, he, uh, he actually weighed in on this, it, along with several other conservative commentators, which is why this is interesting, because it shows a little bit of a schism that's happening. Um, Shapiro, and he actually posted something I agreed with. Uh, he said this. A few points on Ron de Sanctimonious. Number one, terrible branding. Number two, remind everyone you have no discipline by attacking a top gubernatorial candidate popular with the base two days before an election and a week before launching a comeback campaign is an interesting strategy. No, Ben. I mean, yes, I generally agree with you, but... It's not an interesting strategy. It's dumb. It's stupid. Can you, can you say that? Can you say it's really, really stupid? Because it's stupid. You idiot. All right. I mean, look, he's right, though, that Donald Trump doesn't have discipline. He's never had discipline. And look, but what's more important here is that, remember... Trump has no love for the Republican Party. He has no uh, loyalty to the Republican Party. Republican Party for him is a means to an end. And that's what it is. Donald Trump only cares about one thing, and that's Donald Trump. That's it. it the, the polls, by the way, and, and you notice, he's back to quoting the polls. Oh, the polls, the polls, look at the polls, I'm 70%. Because they stroke his ego. And that's it. He loves those polls. Doesn't matter if he's starting shit with other candidates. He doesn't care. And that even if he ultimately sinks other Republican candidates, it doesn't matter. He'll say, oh, it, uh, that's because uh, they weren't very good. Uh, very bad candidates. Uh, in fact, uh, they were just, uh, uh, I don't know what they were doing. Uh, coffee boys uh, and girls. Yeah, it, that's all it was. Okay. Um... But, hey, if they win, yeah, it was my doing. I made them. I made Ron DeSantis. I made Kerry Lake. I made all of these. Uh, I, I made Doug Mastriano. I made all of them. Right. No, you didn't. But look, that said, he's not in for the movement, obviously. He's not a conservative. He's in it for himself, and he's always has been in it for himself. And to be fair, so are most politicians. But. Still, they kind of got to work together and they kind of got these rules like, hey, we might want to, you know, work together on this a little bit and not try to tear our, our, our party apart two days before an election. Or in this case, one day before an election. Um, but anyway, what about the race between, uh, or, or I should say, a potential race between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis? Well, that's interesting. 
DeSantis actually weighed in here, and uh, apparently he will not run in 2024 if Donald Trump decides to run, which is interesting. Sources told Mediaite that DeSantis recently indicated to donors that he would not challenge Trump for the Republican nomination. Quote, he led them to believe that he will not run if Trump does. Another source told the outlet that DeSantis' calculus is that at age 44, he could just easily wait until the next presidential cycle. So why risk a brutal primary fight against a pugilist like Trump? Quote, he could walk into the presidency in 2028 without pissing off Trump or Florida, or said. Wait, hold on, that right there. It's kind of an assumption that if Trump were to run, he would lose. Oh, well, you know, we can just walk into 2028, you know, against Donald Trump, you know, a loser. This <laughs> is sad. Really? No, DeSantis understand that he doesn't have a choice, a, a chance. He has, he has no chance. No charisma. Nothing. Sorry, but not sorry. It's true. Again, you talk about Donald Trump being entertaining. Yes, that is one thing. People like to watch him at his rallies. Nobody likes to watch Ron DeSantis. Very, he's, he's, like, a, he's like a piece of driftwood. It's like grass growing. It's very, very kind of nasally, a little whiny. Not interesting at all. That said, we'll go to others who are defending DeSantis and pushing uh, back against Trump. Here is uh, Matt Walsh. You know, the guy who likes, uh, well, who believes that 17-year-old uh, girls are most fertile. Along with all other crazy things. DeSantis is an extremely effective conservative governor who has had a real policy wins and real cultural wins. Trump is going to be able to take this one down with a dumb nickname. You better have more than that up his sleeve. Ron DeSantis, now you remember his, uh, you know, oh, we caught 20 people with voter fraud. Look at all these people we, we caught with voter fraud. You know what? All of them, uh, none of them were punished. That's it, because they didn't actually do that. <sighs> Ridiculous. Um, as far as policy wins, again, he got a lot of people in Florida killed through COVID. So I don't really know if you can call what he was doing as a winner, right? Not, not, a, not a big, uh, not, it's not winning. We're not winning here. There's more. Town Hall columnist Kurt Schlichter tweeted this. It wasn't funny. If he had sat down and planned exactly how to remind everybody about their concerns about him, this was the way to do it. He has had a long list of great achievements, and all we can get is him making stupid nicknames about a successful rival four days before an election. First of all, you would think Donald Trump would actually sit down and plan how to remind anyone of anything? I don't think he can remember when to do certain things. Like, I'm serious. I think his brain is broken. That said more. Chip Roy, Texas Republican, said this. Or Ron D said no to Fauci. That's another angle. Hashtag stand up for America. Okay. So, th look, this is interesting because it, it fuels my speculation on of course, uh, Donald Trump, whether he runs in 2024 or not. Remember, I, I do believe that he does want to jump in the 2024 race. Yes, um, and, and I think he's going to do so not only out of a desire, of course, to get power, because he likes power, but I think also to outrun his legal troubles. And that announcement could come very, very soon. And look, those uh, legal troubles involve January 6th, Justice Department. Um, but look, I, I have my criticisms of uh, the way that, that uh, invest those investigations are going and the fact that no, so far there's been no indictment against the former president. That said, maybe Ben Shapiro and others believe that there is, you know, that there is a danger of these 
legal issues that might kept up, keep uh, you know, uh, catch up to Donald Trump. And maybe they are actually afraid of Merrick Garland, which is uh, kind of a weird thing to think. But I mean, look, it, it, if, if there was a lot of strength, then yeah, there would be indictments already. And the fact that there isn't, I think they're being way too cautious, way too careful, way too slow. But that's just me. And you could disagree with me if you want. I think Garland uh, has a good case against Donald Trump. I think the DOJ has a good case against Donald Trump. You know, when it comes to not only January 6th, but of course the, the documents. But, and again, I don't know uh, if they'll indict Trump. I just don't know. It's just my speculation. But that said, I do see Trump taking more shots at DeSantis because that's just too, it's just who Donald Trump is. 